morning everyone on this rather wet dull damp day um i hope you're all keeping well and dry um i uh, managed to get here slightly damp i'm at mum's um but uh, not too bad so um welcome to the second card in a cuppa for august and uh this week we are making a card using the uh, pampered pets um, designer series paper so bear with me for two seconds because I'm just trying to get onto Facebook so I can see what the heck is going on so you'll see my arm apologies for that um, let me go let's see yeah, go away I'm getting better at this it's not quite taking me as long okay right so well it should be working but I can't bring them on camera oh, okay no don't worry it's just me talking to myself because my um <laughs> there we go that's it <sighs> morning Debbie morning Trisha Linda Jackie Hope you're all keeping uh, well, warm and warm. Actually, it's not that cold, so I can't really complain. So, in your kit, your second kit for this month, you should have um, a piece of real red, which has been cut and folded for you and scored. Piece of basic black, which is a layer. A piece of morning Jackie piece of whisper white which is actually your innie so you can just tuck that inside she says so she can't get it open that's that you also have a large real red stitched circle a whisper white stitched circle a piece of the designer series paper which has got paws and hearts and things on it so we're using that side because the other side has got large dogs on it so we're not using that side you've got a nice piece of the real red ribbon and i'll show you the rest of that in a moment and i've jumped the gun because i figured that you didn't really want to be watching me fussy cutting this morning so i fussy fussy already fussy cut out my dog and my cat sorry that you've got to do that um do one or the other it's up to you depends whether you're more of a cat or dog person um, or you can use both. So that's what's in your kit. And let me share two cards that I have made. So, and these, you will all have different dogs and cats. You will have a dog and a cat, but they'll all be different. So I can't say so-and-so has got a particular cat. So um, I thought this this cat looked a bit hoity-toity, which um, a lot of cats do because they have that sort of snooty attitude. So um, all I did was I kind of highlighted the cat. So I glued the basic black on. I glued the, um, actually no, I didn't glue the basic black on first. I glued the paper on first. Then I tucked the ribbon around top and bottom and fixed it under the basic black and then glued it on. Then I glued the whisper white circle to the real red circle. And as you can see, I've, I haven't put it central. That's deliberate, it wasn't an accident. That was me making up my mind, that's what I was going to do. And then I've added the cat um, with some dimensionals and the, the red circle is some dimensionals too. I kind of feel like I ought to put some little dots there or something to show that the cat has kind of been walking across, but I'll do that later. And then, um, because I only used the cat, I decided I was going to stick my dog inside my card. So I actually had a very cute dachshund. So that's what's inside my card on that one. So that was the first one I made. This is the second one that I made. I'm st I've still kept it um, portrait, um, but went a little bit different. So I used both the cat and the dog. The basic black was simply glued down to the real red base card. I, this is the, the one circle which I cut in half. 
so um, and then glued it to the back of the double sided paper but before I glued it to the back I actually cut off good morning Lorraine I cut off one strip of paws and hearts because I wanted to put that inside the card so do that first and then you're going to glue the circles to the back of the paper um, but you also want to make sure that the circles when you glue them don't go over the edge of the card um, otherwise you're going to have it sticking out so I think from memory my my circles like kind of come are down here um, so once I've done that, I glued it to the card front and then I glued the Whisper White piece on and then the cat got glued on. I didn't glue his her tail, his tail. I kind of assume everything is um, female because uh, Michael has a, a cat over in San Diego called Suki. Not that she looks like this. Um, and then um, the, the dog actually already has a bow on but I decided that I would use some of the real red, or some of the ribbon. So that's the two cards that I've made. So I'm just gonna quickly show you. Okay, I had to share this this cat because, so this is from the designers, from the designer series paper. And here's my aid memoir that I've made. I've decided to go and make them bigger. So this is actually on an A4, so these are, one and a half by one and a half inch squares. So the paper that I've used for you guys was this paper where I got the dogs from, this paper where I got the cats from, and then this paper, which is where the um, paw prints and the hearts come from. So there is a dog on here that you can die cut out. There's a cat on, actually it's on this one that you can die cut out. Um, so, so we've got, so this, this is like the dog columns and then this is the cat columns. So we've got food bowls, paw prints, we've got fish and hearts. Uh, and then on the reverse of this side, it's, it's uh, words can, related to dogs like pay love, play love, bark, wag, um, scratch. Oh, yeah, they're good at that and barking. And then this one is more related to cats, so it's meow, purr, snooze, yawn, um, jump, that sort of thing. And the paper, so that you know, it coordinates with basic black. Cinnamon cider, which is this colour. Early espresso, which is the dark brown. So more, trying to think, paws here. Flirty flamingo, real red, soft suede, which is the lighter brown. From from the neutrals and then whisper white. So that's what the color scheme is but that, go, that goes with all the paper and everything. But yeah, this this cat is just like, this is Grumpy Cat Mark II. Um, I just love the look on that one and I will be making a card with that one. I'm just, I was talking to my mum earlier and I've got ideas in my head already so I know what I'm gonna do. So, and then I'll just quickly show, um, so these are the cats. It's the cat and dog from the paper that can be die cut out. Uh, and then this is the stamp set. So we have um, images, uh, which you, these four can be cut out using the um, the dies. So that that's just stamped. So as you can see, it's exactly the same cat. Obviously, using the paper saves you from colouring. And then similarly, that dog is exactly the same as this dog. And again, he's the paper's already coloured. And then there's also a small die which um, cuts out paw prints, which I think is really mega cute. Actually, I've cheated because um, I've actually used this again because um, it's our wedding anniversary tomorrow and I wanted some small hearts and I didn't have anything that was small enough that I wanted. So <laughs> I used this on some silver foil paper and I've used the hearts from that. So don't tell George. I know he won't be watching, so I'm probably safe, but there you go. So that's the dies and the stamp set. And then there are some really, really cute um, embellishments that coordinate with it. So there's a little pot, which is called Playful Pets Trinkets. So you've got hearts and you've got bones and you get 20. So 10 of each in those in the pot. So they are really, really cute. I'm sure I can add those to a few things. 
they're quite heavy as well I was quite surprised and then there's a pack of playful pets trim combo so this is the ribbon that um, you've all got I actually had to go and buy a new pack because I used all the ribbon on the um, card and a cuppa kits so that's that and then there's also some black and white twine which would be really cute to have the um, the bone or something hanging from but anyway so those are all the bits that are in the I want to say sweet but I guess it is a sweet because it's got all those sorts of bits and pieces so the 64 million dollar question is what am I going to do with this I had a thought and then I decided and I changed my mind again like I always do so um, I'm going to turn the card so that it's landscape rather than portrait. I know it means that there's a tented fold, which I'm not personally over keen on. I'd rather have my fold here, but we've all got the same base cards. So, so right. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this black in half, I think. So um, I know that that's 10. And I know that that's 14.4, so I'm just going to cut it at, um, actually not quite half, I'm just going to go 7 centimetres. So I'm going to cut that. So I'm just going to put that there. Right, and then, because I want something for the inside, oops, I'm just throwing stuff around, I'm going to trim off a piece of of just the ball prints so that, that's fine so that's good for that because that's going to go on the inside right so I've got that um, I actually want to ch change this slightly because I want this to go through the well I don't want it to kind of look so regimented if you know what I mean. So I'm just going to trim that off. That's it. That's better. I'm happier with that. And actually, it might be on the wall, but. And then I'm going to trim it so that it fits on here. So I know that that's 10. So I'm just simply going to cut this up to 10 centimeters too. So I've got a little bit left, but that's okay. So I've got that and I've got that. And that's all I thought about. Not very clever, huh? So uh, I must get, stop saying so. How do I put that on there? And then after that, you can just play around with what you want to do. Put that on there and that on there. Actually, yeah, that's quite cute. And then the other $64 million question is, do I use the cat and the dog? Or I could even do that and that. I think I need something to tie them together. So, right, I don't know. I quite like that. It's a bit different. Bit retro -y with the with the the black and the so that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to glue all that together, and then I'm going to glue that onto there as well. I think I'll do that bit first. So I need glue, and I need my dimensionals. Oh, and then also the other question is, what am I going to do with the ribbon? Do I use the ribbon? I could use the ribbon on the inside as well. Let's just do this bit first. I mean, if you're going to put the ribbon on the inside, you need to do that. Oops. It's a bit like a bit of toast, really, isn't it? You can guarantee that it's going to fall upside down, well, not upside down the right way, so you end up with glue over everything. So. So are you all getting this? Can you see it all? Can you give me some thumbs up or hearts or something so that I know that you are actually seeing this? Or some laughs because I've done made a mess of it with my glue. Thank 
back here. So yeah, um, it's a bit sticky. So I don't think I'll put it in just yet and I'll let it dry and then I can use my um, glue eraser on it. So that will be better, I think. Let's try not to get this upside down. onto the card so we're going to just put that on with a little bit of a border all around those three sides I'm going to put an overlap the paper I think now do I want to put this on or not I don't think I will I'm going to leave it off for the moment I can always tie a bow afterwards and put that on so this is where the grid paper comes in handy because if you line everything up with an edge you can then I, I can see which line so I've lined the bottom up with this line and if I follow it up I can see that I've got that in line so in theory that is a straight edge in theory didn't do very well with my straight edges last week so okay I think I'm just going to glue that one rather than um, putting it on with dimensionals. I think I might put the dog on with dimensionals. It's a bit of a scruffy urchin. Or looks like a bit of a scruffy urchin. So that's that. And then I think I will put the cat on with dimensionals though. So the cat, the, the whisper white circle. I hope you can follow my um, thought processes, <laughs> if you want to call it a th thought process. I do sometimes wonder. Um, all right, I'm not actually directly over this, so I hope that I'm kind of getting it. I don't want it level, I want it kind of central going across. So I'm going to put the woof on. Hi, Vicky. How's it down in Oz? <laughs> finally caught me live what time of the day is it there it must be evening or was it very early morning so for those who don't know um, Vicky is uh, one of the ladies that I um, do the uh, come craft with us tutorials so she's down in um, Australia so it's nice to see her. 7 p.m. Okay. Oh yeah, because you're you're a bit ahead of us, aren't well, not a bit, but like half a day or so. Or you're old, I can never remember. Or international dateline and all that. I mean I have been there, but <laughs> I'm not very good at remembering what happens. So let's see now. Oops. Oh dear. It's probably nothing worse than watching someone pick off backing off dimensionals but they're a necessary evil so I'm going to put him in the middle on that one and I'm going to put the cat on as well if I had many dimensionals I could probably use those um, I came out this morning without <clears throat> thinking oh actually I might have some oh I do have some in a little pot of dimensionals they always seem to be the one thing that I can never find. Yet I can always I can always find a backing off them, no matter where I am in the house, because they get everywhere. And uh, I'm trying to be good and not throw them all over the place because I really don't think my mum is going to want to be sweeping up after me. It's good of her as it is because she actually clears her kitchen table for me so I'm sitting here in her her kitchen diner and she's doing her knitting on the sofa <laughs> what are you knitting mum or was it angels or socks angels. oh she's knitting angels at the moment so but there you go so and I'm gonna put the cat on 
here. Oh, oh dear. Don't do that. That's like me and my glue. So that's that bit. Now, what am I going to do with this ribbon, if anything? Let me get that glue eraser out first. sure that's there. Well, there was a bit here. That is there. Get that off. Now I can get this bit off because I really don't want the card to stick together. It will come off. Just You have to make sure that it's dry. I don't know why stamping up stopped doing these because quite frankly for me oops sorry the table's going to be wobbling they're a bit of a godsend but as you can see it kind of makes it a bit messy and then all of a sudden it's no longer there so i always think if you've got glue around this is a good thing to have around especially if you've cut something like I did a minute ago with my scissors and because um, you, you can use it to get the glue off your scissors as well which is really handy right okay so that's that done I'm gonna put this inside yep, told you those dimensionals get everywhere so who likes cats and who prefers dogs that's the, the $64 question or million dollar question or do you have no preferences because we've got we have a dog here in the UK which was Michael's there's a bit of a recurring theme here and Michael has a cat in the States so at one point when he was living in Chicago he had a cat a dog and a hamster glad to say we didn't inherit the hamster Hamster was found another home because I was not going to move that. Um, but yeah, the uh, the cat went to San Diego and the dog came here. So, right, so I've got a bit of ribbon left. I mean, I could tie it around his neck. I could tie it around the cat's tail, but that would be cruel. So, <laughs> cat's always yes, Tricia. Alice is a dog person. <laughs> How did you get on with your dog sitting, Alice? Jackie. <laughs> yeah, dog, dog, cat is true. Well, yeah, I would like to think cats are more independent. I think it depends on, on where you are because um, Michael's cat is an indoor cat. She wasn't originally, but when he lived in Chicago, <laughs> they were on the um, 10th floor. So it really wasn't very practical for them to um, let the cat out. So you like cats as well. Oh dear, bad experience with dogs. That's not good. My, We had cat. Well, we had a, had dogs when we were growing up, uh, living with my parents. My, da my dad was not a cat person. Um, when George and I got married, we got two cats. Um, very original names, Fluffy Cat and Tiny Cat, but there you go. Um, wasn't through lack of trying what to to get them, uh, to name them, but um, yeah. But they would always go and sit on my dad's knee whenever he came to visit. <laughs> and he'd be sitting there with his hands like, get them off me, get them off me. It was so funny. <laughs> Mum's laughing <laughs> or giggling. Right, okay, I can't figure out what to do with the ribbon. So you know what, I am going to leave it off. Um, but what I am going to do is just get my wink of Stella out I think I'm just going to wink I'm going to wink his collar I'm going to wink his nose what shall I wink I think I might wink her I don't know I'm assuming the cat's a she it, she is now anyway and so that's my third card he was a sweetie was he Alice <laughs> hopefully he wasn't a runner so there you go. So I've got one with a cat, just a cat, and I've got two with um, cats and dogs on. So 
those are my three cards i hope you've enjoyed seeing them and um, that it's inspired you to go and make another a card yourself i will post the video on facebook um shortly and then um and also post photos of my cards but if you if you feel like it please feel free to add the photo of um <laughs> Sorry, Trisha, I had to laugh. <laughs> um, yeah, please feel free to add your um, picture of your card too because it's it's nice to share ideas and things. The next card in the copper will be uh, first Wednesday in September, which I forgot to write down and for the life of me. I can't remember what it is. I think it wanted to say it's the 6th, 7th, something around there. And um, yes, and you need to uh, order your cards by the 24th if you haven't already done. That's 24th of this month because so then I got a day, two days to get them all cut and um, they'll be posted on the 27th. And just so you know, next month we will be doing Christmas cards. So I thought it was about time and at least at the end of September you will have two Christmas cards and um, maybe I'll even do Christmas cards in October as well. Um, although I'll see how it goes. All right, so that's it. Thank you very much for joining me and I hope to see you soon. Take care. Bye.